Hey guys, welcome back. So it's time for another Fusion 360 tutorial. This is just going to be a quick tutorial about round extrusion or the revolve tool um, and patterns. So let's get right into it. Um, first thing I'm going to do is hide these bodies that we've got so far. And then I'm going to create a sketch. Um, and I think one of the best ways to show this off would be just creating a chess piece. Um, so let's do that. I'm just going to create a line, doesn't matter where. That looks good. I'm going to click well, and I'm actually going to go out just a little bit here. That seems good. So now I'm basically building just like a half profile for a chess piece. Um, and we'll see how that goes. And I'm just using normal sketch tools here. Um, nothing fancy. Yeah, I think that looks good. And that'll, that'll serve our purpose well. Um, so in order to create a round extrusion, all you have to do is select all the pieces you want and basically what we're going to do is take these and revolve it around this line here that we started with. So in order to do that, um, we can come up to create, revolve, and since I've got those selected, now I can click this axis right over here and click this and boom, right there you can see that it starts to revolve all the way around. And you can adjust things like how far it revolves. So if you only want it to go like halfway around, you can do that as well. Um, just different angles. So mess with it and see what you like. And then all of your typical options here. So that's pretty much the basics of it. And you can see that was really easy. And there we've got a really basic like pawn chess piece. Um, and you know, this shape is something that in other programs could be pretty difficult to create, but you know, you know, it took me roughly two, three minutes to do this and I was talking the entire time. So then obviously you can get a lot crazier if you want to. So I want to, let's get a little crazier. I'm gonna go back to the sketch that we just did. And now I wanna make this piece just a little bit crazier. So let's just start with some lines. So that looks good to me. And again, we could do the revolve tool here as well and get kind of a cool shape. Um, so I'll do that and just see what we've got. Select the axis and boom, that's kind of a fun shape. And something to keep in mind, since I did not select the things in here, this is actually hollow on the inside. Um, so keep that in mind that it does just revolve around what you've selected. So I'm gonna hit cancel there. Um, we're back in here. And actually now I'm just going to revolve these pieces and we'll see how that works. Okay, that looks good. Oh, and I forgot to hide the other one. So actually, I'm just gonna move it over um, so it's out of our way. Boom, right there. Okay, so that's good right there. Now, what I wanna do is actually create a pattern of this right here going around that base. Okay, so the first thing I'm gonna do is select what I want done and then um, extrude it. So I'm just going to do a normal extrude here and make it one. I'm going to go ahead and make it a new body and symmetrical so it's on the other side as well. Now I can come up to create again and go to pattern and I'm going to go circular pattern and then I can just select this object here and I've got it set on pattern bodies. Um, you can also do pattern faces and just do specific faces, but I find bodies works just fine for what I've got here. And then you have to click axis and I'm gonna use this as an axis. And then it'll give you the option to roll it around um, that particular axis, which is really cool. So, you know, if I wanted one on each side, I could do that. Or I could just keep going up until I have the number that I wanted and it looks like eight looks pretty cool. So I'm just gonna hit okay. And boom, I'll hide this sketch. And that's a pretty funky chess piece. Um, and the cool thing is, is that would print just fine. Um, so you can start to see the power of those patterning tools. If you ever need to create an axis, um, you can come up to construct and you can create planes and axes through here. Um, or you can also do it as a sketch and just put a line there and use that as your axis. Okay, so there's one more thing I wanna show you along the lines of patterns, um, and that is the create pattern on path. And this is very powerful, it's really cool. Um, so I'm gonna bring back this sketch that we did here, and actually I'm gonna drag the timeline back one, so just getting rid of the pattern we did before. And then I'm gonna hide this body. 
And then we're just gonna make an addition to this sketch right here. So I'm gonna put a circle, or actually I'm gonna go back into the sketch and then I'm gonna put a circle right here. And we'll just do something like that. I think that works good. I'm gonna hit stop sketch and then I'm actually gonna extrude this um, circle out. Make sure I select all of it. We'll go press pull going up and I'll make it symmetric, new body, everything looks good there. So now I can come up to create and go pattern, pattern on path, and then I'm gonna select a body, select that one, and then for the path, I'm gonna choose this right here. And so now this is gonna try to follow this path we have laid out here. Okay, so I'm just gonna stretch it out to about the bottom there, um, along the outside line. And then I'm just gonna bump up the quantity. And I think that actually looks good. So I'm gonna hit okay. Now we have all those lines there. And I'm gonna bring back the um, thing we hid there. And then I'm just gonna combine all of them, but I'm gonna make them, um, I'm gonna cut them. So I'll do all that, that looks good. Go cut. Hit OK. So now we've got holes like that that are pretty cool. And we can, I mean, we can do a little bit of extra processing. Okay, so I basically just did a fillet to the entire thing, and I think that's a pretty interesting shape. So now let's roll this forward again, and boom, it automatically applies all those shapes to it. And so there we have a really crazy looking chess piece. So I hope this was helpful, you guys. Um, I'll leave this one at that. Hopefully it's not too long. Um, and then in the next video, we're going to talk about rotation in a little more depth and um, look at how we can use the smart rotation features. So thanks for joining me guys. I'll see you next time.